The biggest showdown in cinema this summer is not between two comic book movies or two massive franchise blockbusters, no, it's between two very opposite director-driven films that have started an online meme war, one that is surely only just beginning. Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer, a biopic on the real-life story of the Atomic Bomb's creator, and Greta Gerwig's Barbie, an American comedy movie based on the Barbie fashion dolls by Mattel, and a 90s non-fiction book are shaping up a true war of cinema. So in this video, I'm going to be diving into what film might make more money at the box office, whether that's opening weekend or over their total box office runs. Before I get into it though, if you want to keep up to date on any of my content surrounding movies releasing this summer, which include Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer, then don't forget to support this upload by giving it a like rating, subscribing to the channel, and turning on on your notifications. But without further ado, let's dive into the box office face-off between Oppenheimer and Barbie. So let the battle commence. Oppenheimer and Barbie are both releasing on July 21st, and since their announcements, both films have been getting a lot of buzz individually, but also together as well. It's become quite the meme to suggest that you'll go and see both films on opening weekend, coming out of a hopefully joyful screening of Barbie, and then diving straight into the complex and anxious nature of J. Robert Oppenheimer's life. Now, if you're a subscriber on the channel, you'll know that Oppenheimer is my most anticipated film of the year, and of course, I would love to see that film do as well as possible, if it is as good as I hope it will be. But I'm going to be completely honest right off the bat. I want to see both of these films on opening day, and I hope that both of them do as well as possible. For me, there couldn't be a better sign towards the state of cinema if a film about Oppenheimer and a film loosely based on the Barbie dolls does amazingly well having come out at the same time. Now yes, we've seen multiple films perform well all at once, especially recently post the big pandemic depression of cinema, but two films that have equally captivated and intrigued a lot more people at the same time, to me, is a great indication of the rebuild that the film industry has had since those issues a few years ago. On top of that, having two director-driven films, or ones that we assume are director-driven films, both performing equally well on their own merits is more uplifting than seeing the next franchise film or comic book sequel do really well and everyone say it saved cinema. Now of course, I do want those films to do well at the same time, but again, I just think it's more hopeful for other genres of film when projects like Oppenheimer and Barbie perform exceedingly well. God, I loved Top Gun Maverick, it's one of my favourite films of last year, and one of my favourite blockbusters in recent memory, but if movies like Oppenheimer and Barbie make good money, then I think that would be a bigger achievement. Yes, Maverick was a blockbuster film done right, and it was a sequel to a quite popular film, but no one expected it to be as as good as it was, or make the money that it did. And imagine if two individually opposing director-driven films, both doing well at the same time, was something that happened also. That to me is the dream. Now, before you say it, no, I'm not implying that Oppenheimer or Barbie are going to make similar money to Top Gun Maverick. Sure, anything's possible, but when it comes to these two films, I think the 800 million to a billion dollar range is probably the absolute maximum that I could see being being made. But still, if both films do well and outperform expectations, that to me is a good sign for the state of cinema. So now that I've expressed my hope for both Oppenheimer and Barbie doing well, how do I think they will perform? Well, this first prediction is probably going to shock a lot of my viewers, and I will say that this is just the beginning of what I think is going to happen in the long run. But on opening weekend, I think Barbie is going to beat Oppenheimer. Yes, Oppenheimer has had more trailer views overall, it's had more buzz when it comes to the potential quality of the film, but I think like we see with Big 
big franchises or most big franchises today, brand name is very important on opening weekend, especially if the movie is just good. Barbie has a lot more brand recognition and there's no denying that. And regardless of if the film is just okay or not the greatest, I think people will go on that opening weekend and Barbie will be a first choice on brand recognition alone, especially amongst a lot of families. Yes, Oppenheimer is going to get a lot of people in and I think as a film it looks outstanding, but I don't think that that will help it top Barbie on opening weekend because that property, director Drew driven or not, is highly recognisable. So when it comes to the short game and specifically the opening weekend box office, I think Barbie has the advantage there. However, now we turn attention to the long haul and who might win overall. I think this is a difficult one because for starters, you're talking about two completely different films. Yes, they've become attached with one another due to an online meme war, but as films, when it comes to the general audience, they are approaching different types of viewers. Not to forget that Barbie will probably interest a lot more traditional big audience fare and Oppenheimer has just been confirmed to be Christopher Nolan's first rated R movie since 2002's Insomnia. Now, I don't think that the R rating will have as big as an effect as people are making out, because this film as a topic is not aimed at that PG-13 audience, and to be honest, I think Nolan's fanbase, including myself, are of an age range to watch Oppenheimer. Yes, it will take a bite out of those totals, but whenever I've gone to see a recent Nolan film, whether it be, say, Dunkirk or Tenet, both PG-13 movies, movies, I barely saw anyone in the cinema that was under that R-rated age range. So for the special case of Oppenheimer, I don't think it's really going to affect it that much. But then you have to consider that it's probably going up against a movie where all different types of audiences are welcome. So with those initial points mentioned, I'm going to go on a wild prediction. While I think Barbie will win opening weekend, I think Oppenheimer will win the long haul. I think if this film is Christopher Nolan's great return to some of his early iconic character work that constantly did well, then I think the audience will respond to that. Even Tenet, probably Nolan's only less successful big release film, made nearly $400 million in the height of the pandemic with all the things going up against it. Not to mention that it was confusing to some audiences and getting just fair reviews. I like Tenet and you guys know that, but again, it just shows that he has a big audience for what are mostly director driven films. Dunkirk which was a World War 2 survival thriller is still the highest grossing World War 2 related movie of all time and I could go on and on about the success of the films he made prior to those last two entries. This is a filmmaker who has worked in numerous genres, made highly received and successful films time and time again. So regardless of me being a fan of his, it's hard to go against him at the box office because his films have always done well. And if you just look at the online buzz for Oppenheimer through, say, trailer views, you'll see that it's making a truckload. Now, the same can be said about Barbie, because while the first trailer didn't do all that great when it came to buzz, the latest marketing has really set it through the roof. So both films right now are riding a wave of hype, and to be honest, I think that looks very hopeful for both of them being successful. And while my prediction is that Oppenheimer wins the long-term box office with repetitive viewings, I am hopeful that both movies can make a lot of money based on the early buzz we're seeing. So this brings me to my final discussion point of the video, and that is, how much money could Oppenheimer and Barbie make? Both films are budgeted around $100 million each, and depending on how much is spent on marketing and extra costs, you would presume that four to $500 million is by far a successful reach for both films. But when it comes to what I think they will make, I'm going to go crazy and say that both films look to be ones that could go north of $500 million. I think Barbie in its current state looks to be a film that could make anywhere between 400 and 700 if it is a good film. Having brand recognition, having got a lot of star names and at the end of the day, if it is a feel good film with a strong message, like the trailers seem to be indicating, I'd say it could definitely hit the half a billion mark. With Oppenheimer, I think similar numbers are definitely on the table. Yes, it's R rating could hurt it a small bit and the fact that it 
it's three hours long could mean less screenings, but how many three-hour films have we seen in recent years do incredibly well? And on top of this, it's going to have a big premium run in IMAX, which is something Barbie won't have. If it is a Oscar-caliber film, if it makes great use of its extended cast, and if the film itself is incredibly powerful and relatable to today, then why can't it make a lot of money, especially considering that Nolan's films traditionally, in a full market, do very well? Again, just look at Dunkirk or Nolan's original film releases. It's coming out in a time right now where the world is quite fearful towards atomic weapons, and having a strong story around that with such huge prestige involved makes me think that this is also going to make big numbers too. It has half the budget that Tenet had, it's getting more buzz than that film, and I think that could lead to a potentially positive response. So while I predict that Barbie will make around the half a billion mark, I think Oppenheimer will come anywhere between 500 and 700 million dollars. Again, I do think this will all rest on how good these films are, and if one of them is bad, then it will definitely affect its performance. But I do think that if Oppenheimer is as good as it looks, then in the long run, I think it can just edge Barbie and make close to the 600 or 700 million dollar mark. In my opinion, it will be really close, and I do hope that they are both successful and continue to signal the strength of movie theatres since the struggles of the pandemic. At the end of the day, theatres showing both Oppenheimer and Barbie have a chance to win big because they'll have audiences of all age ranges checking out out both films. But that was my video discussing the potential box office of Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer and Greta Gerwig's Barbie. Like I said, I think Barbie is going to win opening weekend, but I also believe that if Oppenheimer is as good as it looks, and combining that with Nolan's revisiting audience, then I do think it can win the long game. We'll have to see what happens, and it's definitely an interesting one considering just how many films are releasing around that period. Again though, I'm hoping that both do well when it comes to the box office, because that's only a better sign for the state of cinema, and I guess you just have to trust that these movies turn out to be good and that the audience does check them out. But what film do you think will make more on July 21st and overall, which film are you more excited to see out of Oppenheimer and Barbie, if not both? Let me know down below in the comment section. For much more videos and news on this summer's upcoming releases, including Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer, then subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like rating and follow me on social media via the links in the description. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been Cortex, and as always, make some noise.